Oh, but look at this library, guys. Holy. The library we are exploring today was designed by renowned architects Malcolmson and Higginbotham and was constructed in 1906. The construction of this library was to commemorate a recently deceased president of Ford Motor Company who has also served many years on Detroit's library board. This breathtaking Italian style building was a one story open concept library with mass basement storage. In 1975, the library moved to the Butzel Family Center and this location was purchased by a nearby church opening a St. Christopher House. The St. Christopher House was pretty much a charity donation center that aided local residents in need of basic necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, and also offered several rehabilitation programs. The center shut its doors for good in 2006 after receiving insufficient funding and the building has sat abandoned ever since. Upon talking to a few of the locals, we learned that the property in its current severely decayed state is listed at a purchase price of 2 million US dollars. With no eager buyers, it seems this structure will remain abandoned, a shell of its former glory hidden away and slowly being reclaimed by nature. Oh, there's stairs. Oh, yeah. This looks like a little stage in the basement. Some clothes hanging up. Looks like one rack fell over. A lighting panel falling from the ceiling. Look at those old school desks. I'm just going to check it out. Refrigerator there. If we take the stairwell up, we'll hit that in a second. Just a little bathroom there. Very cool basement. Walk along here. We got a duck for the pipe. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, look at the storage room. There's lots of stuff left in here old cans and such. Looks like this would have been food storage. Prunes and stuff. Very cool. You can see some cutlery on the floor there. These jars. That's pretty cool. These old wooden doors. This looks like more storage as well. This might have been a uh, charity area where people would donate their goods and such. Very cool. I'm excited to see what's upstairs if there's anything. The floor does look hazardous, but that's okay. This, you can see it looks like the roof has just been 
falling down into the stairwell here. Oh, this floor looks treacherous. Oh, but look at this library, guys. Holy... I don't know how, I've got to be careful where to navigate around here, but it's stocked full of books. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Being very careful where I step because this flooring is not very sturdy. Put these old desks in here. Very neat, guys. Look at this, guys. This is such a cool library. You can just see all the decay and such around here. A lot of the bookshelves falling apart. There's papers scattered on the ground, but this is truly something, guys. And I'm just trying to be weary of step. But look at all this, guys. behind the desk. This is where people would have checked out their books and such. This is so cool. Even a piano in the corner there. I have to be, try to be real careful where I walk. I do not want to fall through the basement. But look at these old shelving. Oh, the electrical wires. Holy guys. Just chalk full of books. Look at that. This is an old retro uh, record player here. See where the sound equipment and such would be. This is so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was our abandoned library exploration video. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. Let's get the word out there, guys. Let's see if we can get our goal of 50 bingos, guys. 50 bingos. We are really sorry that the video did get cut short. We have many more great locations coming, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.